If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, welcome to Zarin Tech on using SAP Cloud Platform Connectivity and Cloud Connector. Disclaimer In this video, we will be covering Initial setup of SAP Cloud Platform Subaccount, Initial setup of Cloud Connector. Configuration of SAP Cloud Platform Connectivity and Deployment of the Web Application Update of the configuration to enable principal propagation instead of basic authentication Select your region and initialize your trial subaccount An organization and a space will be also automatically created The screenshot of created subaccount Select the create subaccount as highlighted in the screenshot the initial setup of the SAP Cloud Connector SCC, is a necessary step in order to connect your on-premise SAP systems to the SAP Cloud Platform SCP. The SCC provides a secure and reliable connection between your on-premise systems and the SCP, and it also allows you to manage your on-premise systems from the SCP. The initial setup of the SCC consists of the following steps. Download and install the SCC. You can download the SCC from the SAP website. The SCC is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. Configure the SCC. Once you have installed the SCC, you need to configure it. The SCC configuration wizard will guide you through the process of configuring the SCC. Create a subaccount. You need to create a subaccount in the SCP in order to use the SCC. You can create a subaccount from the SCP console. Create a connection between the SCC and the SCP. Once you have created a subaccount, you need to create a connection between the SCC and the SCP. You can do this from the SCC console. Test the connection. Once you have created a connection between the SCC and the SCP, you need to test the connection. You can do this by trying to access your on premise system from the SCP console. Configuration of SAP Cloud Platform Connectivity and Deployment of the Web Application creation of the destination and the destination instance, creation of the connectivity instance, creation of the authorization and trust management instance, configuration and deployment of the application router, configuration and deployment of the web application, configuration of SAP Cloud Platform Connectivity. SAP Cloud Platform provides various connectivity options to integrate with on-premises systems, cloud services, and other applications. Cloud Connector Setup SAP Cloud Connector establishes a secure tunnel between your on-premises systems and the SAP Cloud Platform. Destination Configuration Destinations define the connection details to the target systems or services. Connectivity Services SAP Cloud Platform offers additional connectivity services like SAP Cloud Platform Integration and SAP API Management. These services enable you to build integration scenarios, expose API, and manage the lifecycle of API. Deployment of the web application Once the connectivity is configured, you can deploy your web application to the SAP Cloud Platform. Update of the configuration to enable principal propagation instead of basic authentication. Configuration of the cloud connector. Configuration of the on-premise backend system. Update of the destination in SAP Cloud Platform The initial setup of the SAP Cloud Connector is a necessary step in order to connect your on-premise SAP systems to the SAP Cloud Platform. Configuration of SAP Cloud Platform Connectivity and Deployment of the Web Application Thank you and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.